Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining today's webinar where we're going to focus on resource utilisation using Planisware Orchestra. On the call today will be myself, I'm Peter O'Neill, I head up TPG the project group in the UK and Ireland, have done for the last 15 years. I'm going to be giving you a little bit of background around TPG, who we are and what we do. I'm then going to hand over to Jericho from Planisware, one of the key account managers there. He's going to be giving you some background into Planisware and Orchestra, the Orchestra toolset. Then we're going to hand over to Shimone, one of our senior PPM consultants who will run the demo of Orchestra capability of focusing on resource management. A little bit about TPG, the project group. Uh, for the last 25 years, we have been providing PPM solutions across a range of technologies to clients globally. Uh, we organize ourselves in terms of four key areas of capability. Uh, we have a consulting uh, practice that provides PPM strategy, consulting on PPM processes and technologies. We have a range of solutions which uh, consist of pre-configured packaged solutions on platforms such as Orchestra. We also have a range of products which extend the out-of-the-box capability of these tool sets, uh, in particular systems integration, integrating line of business systems with your PPM platform. It's a particular area where we have a lot of capability and a lot of uh, experience. Uh, and we also provide training on PPM processes and on tool sets as well. Uh, we're active in 10 subsidiaries worldwide. We have subsidiaries around Europe, North America, Middle East and Africa and a network of partners worldwide as well. So some headline figures, as I mentioned, subsidiaries in 10 countries with over 100 employees worldwide. Those employees come from over 35 different countries. We're a very diverse organization. Uh, we've been around for over 25 years and as I mentioned, we have resellers around uh, in over 20 countries worldwide. In terms of clients, we've over 700 over the 25 years. We've built up over 700 clients, over a thousand implementations of PPM tool sets spanning 20 industries. And of those deployments, roughly 30% of those have involved a level of integration across various tool sets. So over 300 integration projects worldwide in that time. That's it from me. I'm going to hand over to Jericho now, uh, who's going to give you some background on Planisware and Planisware Orchestra. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jericho, a Key Account Manager for Planisware. Today's session we are going to focus on Planisware Orchestra, but beforehand I'd like to introduce Planisware as a company to everyone. Planisware is a global provider of software solutions for project portfolio management. Planisware solutions are specifically designed to support product development, engineering and IT business processes. Now, for more than 25 years, Plansware has been helping its customers to achieve strategic and innovative excellence, make valid business decisions, and increase portfolio value. Today, over a thousand companies worldwide rely on Plansware products to manage their projects, resources, and portfolios. It is the only privately owned software in, in this market, boasting a 98% customer attention rate and a growth of 15 to 20 percent yearly. As mentioned earlier, being a global provider, we have offices all around the world so that we can support our users anywhere. Lastly, whether it is Forrester, Infotech or Gartner, Planisware is ranked as a leader and a trendsetter in this space, and we plan on staying here. Focusing on Planisware Orchestra, there are three key areas that our customers get are guaranteed to benefit from implementing a solution like Planisware. First, they will increase their efficiency by over 50%, increasing the visibility and accelerating reporting, improving project governance, and uniting projects, program managers, and expert, experts or beginners. Number two, increase performance. You're able to optimize the use of your resources, share best practices, and build a common culture, uh, benefiting from a single source of truth for the whole organization. And lastly, an increase on added value. value. This allows you to choose the right projects, strategic projects, 
and drive the entire project lifecycle in a single solution. Hi, welcome to this demo. This is the Planisware landing page. Please feel free to check out our earlier webinars about introducing Planisware Orchestra, where you will see uh, more details around navigation and other functionality. What we'll be focusing on today is we're going to look at resourcing projects that are upcoming. You can see I have two draft projects. So I'm going to select one of these projects and I need to assign resources to them. So there are two ways to assign resources to a project. The very first is by simply assigning a resource to a Gantt chart. How do I know that the resource that I'm selecting will actually be available during the time that this project is going to be running? I can, as the project manager, go into the dashboards, select the resource dashboard, And other than being able to see on the graph and from the bottom what resource availability and distribution is like, I will be able to click on resources at the top and select the particular resource that I'm looking for. And under allocations and schedule, I will be able to see exactly when this resource is available. The project I'm currently scheduling is only being scheduled from the week of the 15th or the 11th. That means that this project manager has no availability left for that week, which means I might need to move this project one week on if I want to use this project manager or I would need to assign someone else. Because I don't want to use another project manager, I'm going to reschedule my project. So I'm going to go back to my project. From the project details, I'm going to select a new start date. Let me click on edit. I'm not going to start on the 12th of February. I'm going to start on the 19th of February. I'm going to click on save. Which also means that in my Gantt chart, I need to reschedule this initiation task to start a week later. I will save that as well. Now, like I said, if you know who you're going to be using, you've checked their availability, it's easy to look at the resource, go and find them in the list, click on allocate, and that resource will be allocated to that task. I'm going to do that again. For the closing tasks that I have my project manager assigned where I want them and I'm going to click on allocate. My project manager is now allocated but I still need a consultant and a developer for this project. You'll notice that I have selected a waterfall project but the concepts I'm explaining will also be valid for any agile projects if you need to look at those. Now, if I don't know who is available, which developers or consultants will have the necessary capacity for this project, I can request those resources from a PMO or a resource manager or a team lead. To do that, I'm going to click on cost and load and select input. I'm going to make sure that my load type is only load, I'm not looking at cost at the moment. And I want to select a developer for this planning task. So I'm going to select the task, click on new, and I need a consultant for five days. I'm going to select the task again, and I need a developer for about a day. During execution, I want to have a developer 
for 15 days. And I went to have a consultant for about two days. I'm going to save this. Okay. So I have now requested a developer and a consultant for this project. Putting on my team lead hat, I'm going to go into the team leaders page. The team leader or whoever manages resource allocation will be able to look at the units, look for their business unit. Let's find our business unit. And in the resource manager, that business unit will be able to see all the resource requests that have come through by looking at the resource requirements. And if I click on the right hand side, it'll open the resource requirements box. I want to see only requirements for my business unit. I see I need a consultant. Now from this, I can see that Peter O'Neill has quite a bit of availability. So I'm going to drag him to this planning task. Allocation will be calculated automatically. And I'm also going to drag him to the execution task because we want to use the same consultant for both of these. I will now also be able to look at the developer that has been requested of me. And looking at this, I see Carl has more availability than Jonathan does. So I can assign Carl to both of these tasks by dragging and dropping, which is quite easy. If you're looking at multiple projects, you can filter them at the top. I'm currently looking only at my two draft projects because those are the ones that are having resources requested. As a team lead, I will also be able to plan absences for my resources. So if I go to my resources and I select, for example, Peter O'Neill, in the allocations, I will be able to add non-project uh, of a, an unavailability time. So I can add an absence meeting, let's say, for example say Peter O'Neill will be in training and workshops from the 1st of April until the 2nd. So there are two days in which he will be on workshops and not available to projects. So looking at Peter O'Neill's scheduled time if I expand this, I can see that when I'm looking at the beginning of April, there are two days of training and workshops assigned for that very first week in April. Right. The project manager will now be able to go back to their project look at their Gantt chart and see that the resources they've requested has been assigned. So I've got Peter and Neil and Cole Dalton and they will be able to manage that project. As the resource manager, if a resource has been over allocated, I'm just going to go back to my resources and look at a resource that might have been over allocated. Look at their allocations in the schedule. I will be able to resolve those over allocations. Let's say, for example, this project hasn't started yet. However, I can see that there is an over allocation. So these, re these days, four days, is causing an over allocation on this end. So I can edit this task right click on it, click on edit, and I can say that, you know what, this availability is only going to be from the 26th, and I can update this. And I can see that this over allocation is starting to be a little bit better managed. I can also exchange, swap out a project manager. 
on a project. For example, I can click on swap, select a project manager who I know would be available, for example, Ahmed, click on update, and that project management task would be reassigned to another person, which means that my over allocations are being managed a lot better. Looking at my dashboard, I'm selecting the resource dashboard. I will be able to see for my date range what allocations look like. I can see that Peter O'Neill is allocated to some other work there, and Shimane has a non availability because she is going on leave. I can see where my resources are being overutilized or underutilized, so I know where I can assign them by clicking on resources at the top and selecting a resource, I will be getting to the same space where I can check allocations for that person. So thank you, Shimane. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you do have any follow on questions, please feel free to get in touch and please keep an eye out for our upcoming webinars covering other capabilities uh, within orchestra. Thank you.